Hello, Cancer. Good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning here. I've been waking up super early and going to sleep super early as well. I guess this is the lockdown thing that's completely changed my routine. Anyway, welcome to my channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. And now I am going to do a reading for Cancer, a love reading. Okay, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And please bear in mind that this reading is general. It may not resonate with every Cancer out there. If you prefer a more accurate and personalized reading, okay, you can book a private session with me. All information is below the description box. And in this reading, roles may be reversed and it is not gender specific. Okay, Cancer. Love messages for Cancer for the month of April 2020. Love messages for Cancer for the month of April 2020. Spirits and angels, please give me messages. Show me messages for Cancer. Love topic. April 2020. Cancer's love messages. April 2020. Cancer's love messages. Cancer's love messages. April 2020. Please bear in mind that time is fluid, so whatever I'm telling you right now could have already happened in the past. Um, the predicted outcome, it's also you know, you probably have already known um, the outcome, what I'm going to tell you. So, or it could have, all of this could be timeless. This reading could be timeless too. Okay. So whenever you stumble upon this video, these are the messages for you, okay? Love messages for cancer. April 2020. I'm going to take these bunch right here. Okay. Huh. Hold on a deck of pentacles. So leave it here, okay? So in your past, um, I can see that um, Cancer, you had this woman. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's male or female, but more of a feminine energy I see right here. It's the queen of pentacles, okay? If you're a guy, you could have a more feminine energy too and vice versa so the queen of pentacles somebody it's in reverse there is some instability right there with this person okay or somebody just i think in your love connection just isn't i think this person has rejected you okay and you felt like you just maybe have to let go, let go of this, this person. And you've always wanted this person to be your partner in life because of the Empress card right here. That's crossing the four of um, pentacles right here. Okay, so I do see that this is the person that you've always thought would be your life partner however it is not happening and you feel like you have to let that go and but you still have so much love for this person you have so so much love to offer to this person okay um for sure i see there is a separation okay because this person isn't as keen as you are when it comes to this relationship I think also because 
I believe somebody has, this is the Seven of Swords right here, and it has been appearing a lot lately throughout my reading. And I, I see somebody is not being honest here, okay? Um, to what extent, I am not sure, but this Seven of Swords energy, I'm, I, don't, I don't like it at all. Can you please clarify the Seven of Swords, Spirits and Angels, please clarify the Seven of Swords. Yeah, feeling that luck isn't on your side or, you know, this could also be a distance. It's a long distance relationship. And because it is a long distance relationship, um, you know, someone is probably cheating. Okay. Seven of Swords, I always see it as cheating, lying. It's something that your person has done. Which, which was really, really unethical. And it has something to do with, um, and the only reason why he or she, your person could do that is because you guys aren't, you guys are in a long distance relationship, okay? But you do love your person so much and you really wish that, you're thinking maybe considering and offering your love you know, to him or her again. And um, this could be your person's thinking, okay? What else can be reversed? Okay, I'd like to know more about this Queen of Pentacles in, in reverse. Please clarify for me. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Why is it in reverse? Yes, I definitely see a third party going on. This person whom you love so much, you know, um, he or she just has somebody else. Has somebody else. Hmm. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Please clarify the current situation right now. And you're feeling... Wow. feel like you have to let go. You have to let go of this person, okay? And whoever this person is, um, I feel like they are very, when I say they, it's because, you know, I don't have to say he or she or all the time. It doesn't matter and it's not gender specific, okay? I'll just say they, okay? They, um, they can be temperamental and likes attention, okay? Most definitely not, not the most reliable, stable energy, and they have cheated on you. There is a third party, someone else that they are interested with or is having an affair with because I'm very concerned when I see the Seven of Swords. It always symbolizes cheating, lying, okay? And you're very sad. You're very sad about this connection that didn't happen because you really, really thought that this was your one, the one, the one you were going to get married or be married to. Okay, currently, I think also you feel like there is no point of offering this new phase, new beginning of your relationship one level up because this is the Ace of Pentacles and it is in reverse. You're very disappointed and you feel so betrayed. And I think it has something to do with you know, this could be a long distance relationship. Um, and this is why they can do this, this to you, because it's convenient. Okay. You just hope that you would stop yourself from being indecisive. Because, you know, it's like you love this person, your heart tells you, 
your heart says one thing and then your mind says something else. You know this person has cheated on you and this person is not worthy of your love. But you're still conflicted because there is still love there. You still love this person. Hangman, return in reverse. Yeah. You either hope for a reconciliation, seeing getting back together. Um, but I see you are using your logic, you are using your intuition. You, I think you will finally come to terms with that. I think you will. I'm picking up on you using your intuition. And you, I think you found out about this affair because of your intuition. Okay? You felt something was not right. Hmm. Let's clarify the King of Cups. Yeah, you feel like you have everything but this person. You feel like you have everything but this person. And truth has come out because of the high priestess right here. So the truth has come out. Sorry about that. <laughs> My camera, I don't know what's wrong with it. Like it just stopped. Just stopped in the middle of it. And I've already deleted so many apps, so many videos. I freed up the memory in my phone, but anyways, I'm just going to continue where I stopped. So, talking about your intuition, I, yeah, I definitely see that you have found out about this connection because of, through your intuition, now you just felt something was not right and you went a little bit into some digging or somebody could have told you that too as well, okay? And of course, Ten of Swords right here, feeling so betrayed, you know, like, being stabbed in your back and ten of swords is the complete source like you can't all ten all together so it's that is really you know you cannot go as low as this this one this card is the lowest card i feel if anyone could feel so low so terrible so sad so heartbroken it will be this card ten of swords However, I do see you coming out of it victoriously. This is the Six of Wands, as you can see. He is sitting up on a high horse um, because he has won something. Probably won fighting in a war. Probably have been through war with this, this whole situation right here. And this is why, you know, now I'm going to bring it closer, but you will come out victoriously and you feel like, hey, you know what, I don't need anybody right now, I'll just, I'm just going to be alone, you know, I have been through this battle and, you know, although I do love this person, I really, really want to be with this person, I still have so much love for this person, but, but this is not, I need to love myself first, I need to take care of myself first because you are not worth my time, you are not worth all the effort that I put into this relationship where I actually really thought you were the one and I trusted you, you know, and I thought we were going to live happily ever after, that we would be together forever, however, that is not, you know, life, it just, they just throw you curveballs all the time, and what you think, sometimes what you think that, you know, how a person is may not really be who they are, okay? And they need to go through these lessons themselves to realize what they have lost. Um, sometimes there are just way too many chances given. And, and you know what? Look after yourself. And I, I do see you being victorious right here. Um, that you will, you will eventually just come out of it victoriously and being okay alone. For the time being. Alright, Cancer, I think these are your messages, but let me pull these ones out. The oracles. Pull three out, three oracle cards. Love messages for Cancer. One, two, three. Let's pull the oracles. 
Uh, this is the Express Your Love card. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. I don't see this as like, you know, something you should be doing with this person who has cheated on you. I, I do see a new love coming in. This is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I see more of a new person coming in where you're going to have passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you are, I, I do see that you will be meeting someone uh, new, someone new, okay, where you're going to have really strong chemistry with, with a lot of passion and that uh, both of you, you know, because it's still new, so, but eventually you guys will start expressing your love for each other, but at least as a silver lining, um, I see in this reading. Okay, Cancer, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to do the all 12 signs reading once a month and also different types of reading um, whenever I can. So I'm still new with this, this YouTube. So um, kindly subscribe and share with any of your friends whom you think might be benefiting from this these messages, okay? All right, thank you, Cancer. Please stay safe and I will see you soon.